what up everybody this is dennis smith welcome to the timeline man welcome to the timeline i just got out of thor love and thunder and uh yeah I'll be, the movie theater is right down the street it's like literally a minute away so this is like instant reaction stuff right here and i don't love the movie man and it sucks to say that i'm a big thor fan it's one of my favorite uh marvel heroes man and i just i didn't the movie did not hit the way that i wanted it to man and that's a and that's a damn shame right there it's a damn shame uh it had it's really cool parts i don't want to spoil anything so i'm not gonna i'm gonna try to keep it light uh and and spoiler free but you know like it had its cool parts had its cool moments um and you know they they really i like jane and thor's relationship I thought that was very well done and, and believable. Uh, Valkyrie was cool. Gore was the best part of the movie, in my opinion. And uh, in my opinion, we did not get enough of him. That's that was the bad part. Like he was so cool, but we didn't get enough of Gore, in my opinion. Um, you know, like Taika was saying that they tested. He tested very well. Um, tested as like the highest villain. Uh, that they've had that the mcu's ever had and i definitely see the potential of like why uh to me it just wasn't fleshed out enough um they just they gore just wasn't doing enough goring in my opinion man and it's so sad that's to give it the most like that's the way to say it the most spoiler free i can say it um wasn't enough going in my opinion which is super sad but he he knew the thing he knew the thing <laughs> but i uh, uh the the movie is really if if you've seen the discourse online like it is really jokey and you know it sucks to like i feel like thor really only had like 5 total minutes of like seriousness the whole entire movie that he it was all jokes like I, I don't like that they did that with Thor um kind of makes him seem like just in like unserious and he's a he's a god man like that's why he's one of my favorites he's a god like uh, it just made him very unserious and it's hard to take him seriously when he does have a serious moment like when he does have his like little moments here it's like hard to take him seriously because they built up this gotta be so jokey like jokester he's a jokester and and uh you know the whole movie was kind of like that a lot of the characters just were very jokey and i would have liked to have seen it be more serious you know especially i think in that comic run where there's some serious stuff going on it's some this dude is like vicious and killing gods crazy like left and right and you know thor isn't just joking around in the in the comic you know i get that it's a comic but i mean like the whole movie they ain't like the whole movie full of jokes i don't know that just that did not hit with me i know the movie theater was laughing a lot the movie theater was laughing quite a bit and uh of course like they they some of it was funny. A lot of it was funny, actually, um, but just not what I wanted. And, um, you know, the whole first and second act was just like straight jokes, in my opinion. And then like the beginning of the third act, they finally like have a, a you know, a bit of seriousness when they're, you know, Jane and Thor and, and Valkyrie are about to go, you know, see Gore. Uh, they're about to go do the thing. And there's a decision that Taika Waititi makes like you you know it's serious all the way up to this point like during this final act here it's 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 serious and then it gets to this point and and not, I'm not going to spoil it but like you know they make a decision here and it just didn't it did not land with me it was Taika doing um very Taika like things and it didn't it took away from the movie in my opinion it, it didn't land with me 
uh, I'd rather of that whole third act just be like way more serious. And you know, this is what I kind of feared going into this movie, like them being super jokey and just everything be fun and like kind of lighthearted. And, and for me, I needed gore to be the opposite. Like I needed scenes with gore to be the opposite, which you know it was like he had some really he had a really good performance, uh, Christian Bale. But you know it things that they did on the other side of that, like the other side of things with like Thor and uh jane and valkyrie like took away from like the seriousness and uh vengefulness of of gore in my opinion and uh that was just it's just a mix that didn't didn't work for me I, it's hard it's hard to to speak without spoiling but you know go ahead and check it out for yourself um i'm gonna have to watch it another time again just to just to see if i'm not tripping but this one did not land for me the way Ragnarok did. Ragnarok was a great Thor movie, even though it like had his, uh, a lot of jokes in it. Uh, it was still one of a kind. But this was like almost like Ragnarok times two, in my opinion, with like just more crazy and funny. I hope the next time we see Thor, he's, he's it's more serious tones, um, in my opinion. This should be, you know, if it were up to me, it would be Taika's last Marvel movie. That's, that's where I'm kind of at. Like, I, we're kind of done with that tone. The next time we see Thor, like, I want him to be, I need him to lose the, the funny act and I need him to be a little bit more badass, man. That's, I need that from the God of Thunder. That's what I need, man. You know, even if it's, if it's his own solo movie, that's what I, I'm gonna need from Thor moving forward and I, and I hope that uh I hope that Kevin Feige um uh, does that I hope, I hope we get that from Thor and you know even when he does team up with you know future Avengers or whoever he teams up with I'm hoping it's a lot more um I hope the tone is different let's just put it that way I hope the tone is a lot different than what we got in this movie uh, I think this should be the last time this tone is associated with with Thor so that's kind of where I'm at with it. Uh, what I am excited about is where it leaves our Thor. And, um, you know, what could possibly be next for him. You know, that's, that's uh, if it wrote to me, Taika wouldn't be handling Thor anymore. Uh, which would be, that's going to be an awkward conversation because he does play Korg. Um, that's kind of an awkward conversation to have. Like, hey, we're not going to, not going to bring you back, but you are Korg. Kind of need you to play Korg. But uh, that's kind of that's kind of where I'm at. If I were to give it an initial grade out of ten, one out of ten for me right now is like right there about a five, like five to six range. And I'm not a hard critic. I'm not a tough critic at all. Like I usually find enjoyment out of any Marvel movie. I think most Marvel movies hit that like standard MCU standard. Um, you know, even a movie like Black Widow, which like I had my problems with, like I done like what they did with Taskmaster and all that kind of stuff. But like I found, you know, enjoyment out of that. I thought it hit that standard uh, where I could just like enjoy it as like a simple you know, spy action type of movie. Um, but this one just didn't didn't hit that for me, which is so sad. Like, like I said, like Thor is one of my favorite Marvel heroes. And I just, I don't love what they're doing with him right now. I need, I need a more serious Thor. I think that's my biggest problem with it, which sucks, man, which that, that sucks. Like, I don't know if you can tell like the shock on my face right now, because I mean, I usually, I'm telling you, I usually love like all the Marvel movies, man. This may be like the first one where I'm like, man. I'm sitting there watching and I'm like, damn, that I don't know if I like that. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't actively think that way when I'm when I'm watching Marvel movies. I'm usually just enjoying what they're putting up on the screen, but like that's what I'm sitting there like, man, I don't know if I like that decision. I don't know if that decision hit with me. Like, mm, I wish that was different. Like 
that's like the first time I've like kind of, you know, didn't love what I was seeing. Which man, it's like a bummer. That's why I'm like in shock. That's kind of why I'm in shock right now. But uh, yeah, it's just like a like experiencing it first right now. Yeah, I just uh, I wish I wish it was a little different. I wish it was a little different. Yeah, I don't. I just don't know if Thor: Love and Thunder was was very necessary. You know, it's a cool comic run um, that they did. I don't know if it was done right. Like, I don't know if it had the same flavor as the actual comic run. And just, I don't know. I just, I keep seeing phase four is, is filler, which I have a lot of opinions on that. I have a lot of thoughts on that, which I'm going to share more later. Um, but yeah, if this movie felt like filler, in my opinion, we didn't get any like, you know, real answers of what's going on in the MCU or, or, um, you know, any real connections or anything like that. It was just, uh, just a adaptation of a cool story in, uh, in the comics. So yeah, I'm around a five or a six, you know, and again, like I'm, I'm very easy to please when it comes to, especially when it comes to Marvel, but you know, this, this movie just didn't do it for me. And, that kind of sucks but yeah that's that's kind of where i stand on it if you've seen the movie let me know your thoughts of did you enjoy it if you did i am happy for you um i'll probably go see it again soon but uh let me know what you guys think about thor love and thunder uh was it too much joking for you did you love it did you laugh a lot like let me know what you think let me know your instant reactions is, is phase four filler? Let me know. Let me know. But uh, thanks for watching. This is Dennis Smith, the alternate timeline. And you guys have a wonderful, wonderful night. Peace.